Hi friends, I'm back with a new lesson. Well, supposing if I tell you, either you write an essay or uh, give a speech in front of the class, which one would you prefer? Okay, so I'm giving you a choice. Either you write an essay or speak in front of the class. Okay, so there are two options. You have two choices. Make one, pick one, choose one. Okay, this is what today's lesson is about using either or and neither not. First, let's take a look at either or. Now, what is either or? Either or is a correlative conjunction okay. When I mean correlative conjunction I mean both are used in the same sentence. They are used in a pair. Okay. You use either or in the same sentence. So they are related. We call them correlative conjunctions. Conjunctions are words that join a sentence. Now let's see how we use either or in a sentence. First of all, remember we use it to emphasize choice. you make a choice between two things so if I say either the clerk or the secretary has the keys now I'm not sure who has the keys so I tell you either well you can also pronounce this as either you decide so either or either the clerk or now I'm not sure so either this one or the secretary has the keys so one of them has the keys. Okay, so I'm giving you or I'm making uh, two, I have two options. Either this one or this one has the keys. Now the next important thing to remember when you use either or in a sentence is the verb that follows. Okay, a lot of people make mistakes. They don't know whether the verb is singular or plural, which form of verb to use. So now I'm going to tell you, either the clerk or the secretary. Now, secretary is singular. I have not said secretaries. So singular, the verb that follows has to agree with the secretary. In my case, it is in singular. So I use has. Okay. I cannot say either the clerk or the secretary have that is absolutely incorrect because both do not have the keys one of them one of them has the keys so because secretary is in singular the verb that follows it immediately will be a singular verb so in this case has please remember do not use have because I have not said the clerk and the secretary. No, I'm mentioning either of them. One of them. So one of them has the keys. So if you use have, that is absolutely incorrect. Okay. So remember either or is used to give emphasis when you emphasize a choice or options, two options. Okay, that it is a correlative conjunction used in a sentence and the second and the most important thing to remember is the verb. Okay, it always depends on the noun or the pronoun that follows after or, or follows or. If it's singular, you use a singular verb. If it's plural, you use a plural verb. In my next example, you can either stay or come with us now i give my little cousin an option you can either i give him two options you can either stay so this is option one or come with us this is option two you make a choice no other options i'm emphasizing two options you can either stay or come with us you decide so i'm using either 
and or in the same sentence that means I'm emphasizing two options I'm using a correlative conjunction in this sentence because I'm giving him two options fine now the next example either Sara or the girls are going to make dinner now either Sara option one or the girls now well Sara is singular just she's just one girl or the girls now this is plural this is my second option or the girls so probably her friends three of them are going to make dinner if you notice I have used R a plural verb why have I used R because we are talking about the girls right so the verb that immediately follows the plural noun will definitely be a plural verb fine supposing if it were either Sarah or her brother is going to make dinner supposing Sarah or her brother singular then I would put is but because girls is a plural noun I use a plural verb always remember this rule please do not get confused the next example you can either take a taxi or go by bus you either take a taxi so here you have either take a taxi option one or go by bus two options so again I've used a correlative conjunction because I'm emphasizing on two options either take a taxi or go by bus okay so remember either or it is used in a sentence as a correlative conjunction and what do I mean by a correlative conjunction something that is used in a pair so well either or is a pair used in a sentence we use it when you want to emphasize on two options okay or two choices and do not forget the verb rule if the, the noun or the pronoun after or is singular use a singular verb if it is plural do use a plural verb well I hope you understood the use of either or now we're going to take a look at another correlative conjunction neither nor so now let's take a look at neither nor this is also a correlative conjunction We use it when we talk about two negative alternatives. So if I say neither John nor his sister, so I have two options or two negative alternatives. Now his sister mentioned anything about moving house. Okay this means John didn't mention and his sister didn't mention okay so both of them did not mention so because it is negative I use neither nor you can also pronounce this as neither so neither John nor his sister I have two negative alternatives mentioned anything about moving house now my next example neither the cafe nor the restaurant serves good pizza pizza so neither the cafe the first alternative nor the restaurant serves now if you notice I have put a singular verb here I have put a singular verb here because restaurant is a singular noun supposing if it were restaurants I mean the noun in the plural form I would use serve 
because the verb has to agree with the second alternative. So here it is singular, I use a singular verb. So please do not forget this rule. So neither the cafe nor the restaurant serves good pizza. Now in my next example, neither John nor his brothers like doing dishes. So neither John, my first alternative, nor his brothers. Now brothers, the noun brother is in the plural form. It's brothers. So I use a plural verb. Because like has to agree with the second alternative. In this case, it is in the plural. So brothers is a plural noun. I'm going to use like. So neither John nor his brothers like. But let's reverse it. Supposing this is singular, you will have brother likes. So always ensure the verb agrees with the second alternative. Or rather what comes second. Okay. Do not forget the verb rule. It is really important. And most people make errors when they have to select the verb. And in my last example, I neither smoke nor drink. So that means I don't smoke and I don't drink. Okay, so I neither smoke nor drink. So this is how we use the correlative conjunction neither nor. We use it in a sentence. It comes in a pair, neither nor. We use it in a sentence when we have two negative alternatives. Okay, well this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please do put in your comments and queries if any. I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, take care and bye.